Pisces. This is going to be an X reading <clears throat> for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This reading is for November 13th through the 20th. Excuse me. And um, this is to see if it's likely that your ex will return. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Pisces and your ex. What's going on for Pisces and your ex? Pisces and your ex. Alright guys, here we go. First two cards is going to be where you guys currently stand as far as this relationship is concerned. What's going on with Pisces and their ex? Wow. Okay. So you're going to face an away from the situation currently. Um, just being, you know, very cerebral. Um, not really expressing much emotion. And I feel like it's because you probably were very over, overly emotional before, okay? This person that you're dealing with, possible Scorpio, maybe someone with air in their chart as well. Um, but this person is very uh, reminiscent of the past, focusing on the good things that happen between the two of you is where they are right now, okay? You're not wanting to think about it so much right now. I feel like you've been hurt. You, you're kind of jaded at this point. You probably invested a whole hell of a lot. And so now you're just like, mm, I have nothing else to give. You know, you come at me cross and you know, it, it's on. It's on and popping. So let's see. <clears throat> What it is that you guys want something want to jump out there yeah i mean you're basically just wanting to move to a more stable um place within yourself um and for some of you i'm, I'm getting that you're wanting to actually move for some reason it just hit me I feel like it's been a long time coming. Like it's something that you've wanted to do for a while, but um, something was holding you where you are right now. And I feel like you're no longer feeling like confined, like you're ready to go ahead and, and make that move. And you're kind of preparing yourself for that, I feel, here. And you're kind of looking back and, and, and it reminds me of the Seven of Pentacles. Um, here, this this is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but um, it's like you're looking back and thinking about the things that have happened, what has brought you to this place, and um, it's like it's like um, what do you call it? Um, it's like a sweet and, and sour kind of moment. Like you know, you're glad to be be able to move forward but you're also leaving something behind as well so it's it's kind of like that okay what they want i feel like they want to be loved they want to offer love but they are kind of they want it but i feel like they're they're taking a more passive stance as far as this love is concerned they want you to come towards them but i don't feel that that you're doing that they're just used to you doing that i feel okay keep in mind guys these energies can go vice versa you know this side i'm doing for you but this could very well be the other person's energy and the other side be for you so take it how it resonates okay but i feel like you know they're you're they're no longer you're no longer like offering your emotions 
to this person, which is what they were so used to in the past, but that's what they're wanting. They're expecting it all, almost, I feel. What you need, yeah, is to have the strength to do exactly what it is that you have set your mind to do. To tame the beast, to walk away. Um, and I feel, I feel that here. We also have Leo here. Like your bad, your back is completely turned to this person at this point. What they need. Hmm. I feel like they need to come towards you. And I feel like when you leave, because I feel like you're going to leave before this person actually like has a wake up call. Um, they're going to need to, to come find you. And start this thing over again. Because the karmic cycle has ended here. It has ended. But there's also something new that that is like being beckoned here. So, yeah. Is it likely that you guys will reunite? Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Do you see that? Queen of Cups. So now we have a couple here. Okay. We have a couple here. And, and this King of Cups is expecting you to like offer them something that you have before. And I feel like you will not offer, but you will reciprocate when they do come towards you. So is it likely? I would say that's a hell yeah. I, I would, okay. All right, I like it. To close out my ex readings for the day, I'm smiling because Capricorn had a really tough reading and it just, it was like, wow. But anyway. Let's see. Let's pull a Divine Feminine Oracle card for you guys. See what's going on. And I pulled two cards, so we're going to go ahead and take those. That's my Bigo, the Warrior Saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. All right. I like it. Okay. And then we have the Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. I love that. I absolutely love that. I love that. Very diverse. Very diverse here. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to pull an angel prayers card to close this thing out. This is beautiful. I love it, Pisces. Here we go. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Yes. Very intuitive, too, I feel. Very loving you are. Very loving you are. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys for November 13th through the 20th. And this was beautiful. And I will be speaking with you.